Yeah, again, we lose routines like twice in a week, three days. Yeah, a minute, you'll, uh, get, you'll get people complaining. I won't use in a minute. We we'll tried to post one of you, one of Davis, we'll have to get to Liverpool, see <laughs> yeah. him now. And then back up here. As you can see by the sign, everyone watching, we're outside Fannin's gym here. Nice breezy day in Hartlepool, just watch Lewis get, Lewis get absolutely beasted there for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Old school Fannin, he's so. No, uh, train's going really well and like I see every side of the gym are just I didn't ask you. In the middle of anywhere in it, but no before the before, <laughs> before we all went to the gym just the middle of anywhere in it. It's nice, you know, and we get left to then do our own thing and uh, do you find that it's a happy medium? Because obviously you see some fighters end up like like Khan and Luke Campbell at obviously topical at the yeah. minute they've gone over to America at different points in the career to sort of escape everything at home. Yeah, Whereas we're not a million miles away from Newcastle but it's far enough. No, but you know what I mean, you are about the America thing when you went to America for two weeks when Tommy Ford and his fighters in the gym and I honestly say they do nothing different to what fighters do over here. You know, like uh, we're in Gleason's gym, uh, you've got you've in New York, which is quite famous where Baby Milana, all that trains when they when they fight in New York. So we've been all them and uh, I can literally say they do nothing different to what, to what we do. And uh, being, being away from home, it's, it's nice. No, no pressure, you know, getting hassles, but I'm away from the, at the same time, so it's hard that way. So, but it's the pros and cons in it, and uh, we've got to get away from the hassle. We're always getting a bit too much. We've been hard to we've got left lane, don't get no hassle, and it's good. Is that hard? Because obviously, as you've got bigger, your name's got bigger, you've progressed through the levels, and you want that popularity. We've talked in the past about ticket sales and stuff, and I'm not saying you're on that deal at the minute, but like. You want to be celebrated, you no, want that yeah, popularity, you want people behind you, but you've got to get on with the boxing side yeah, of it. It's great, like, I, when I'm out when I'm with my girlfriend and my little daughter, I know I can't wear too much anyway, because I get hassled. Like, you I normally do. Oh, it's, it's, a night, it's a nightmare, like, in town, even to be in town having for dinner, people are kind of photo cutting. It doesn't bother me, because it comes with it, but I feel sometimes, you know, when you, sometimes you try to get away from that with a girlfriend and that, and, she gets hassled and you, you know like even the Hopkins last year the Hopkins were just got absolutely mobbed yeah, actually the, the, the bloke who owns the Hopkins had actually messaged my girlfriend I don't know how he got a message saying sorry about your boyfriend getting hassled today next time we'll come we'll come for now we'll get you on the rights for now and all that which, which was canny but I'll come with you next I, time I'm not like that so I, I just I tell her to message her back saying fancy off I can't imagine you know, you so uh, I know what you're saying about the tickets you know because you know, the, the time when we were struggling with tickets, you know, like, not being people, not being known here, they are, but they can, so you're struggling to sell 100, uh, you're selling more than 1,500 tickets, you know, like, it, it, it goes mad, but it is good in a way. And, um, obviously we're talking about different deals, we have spoken about earlier about what this situation. We haven't spoken to you since you signed with MTK, and in advisory capacity, is that right? Yeah, advisory, so, Tommy, um, same with them, they, they was asking a few questions about me and what I thought, what we thought and uh, obviously I've been with Phil Jeffries, I don't want to be like, I'm going to start from him, I'm going to start from him, MTK is coming, I'm sort of kicking you, well he's a man, which, is, <laughs> which isn't very good, but I didn't want to sort of say, do you know what, I, I, I cast myself as quite well, you know, like, I, you know, I didn't want MTK coming off for a better deal and sort of saying, Jaffa, I've really done a good job with the next last couple of years, but now I'm chucking you away, so uh, when Jaffa was over in Dubai, he met the main man over there, they had a bit crack on, he had a meeting with him in, the, in his offices and uh, the couple of deal our advisor rule were more, more than happy with that. Nice one, so is that going to see you boxing on any of their shows or anything like that? Or? I'm not too sure, I just... I know you're match room at the minute. Yeah, we're match room at the minute and uh, you know, we're match room now but depending on the next fight that could change, you know what I mean? Like, it's alright bringing shows in Newcastle, no match room but... You know, like, it's the North, like the North East lads want to find themselves lucky, really, because I'm not trying to be bigger, but without me, the last show, even the Josh Kelly show. No, we, it, we've it, said that it, for uh, a while now. And I think, like, obviously, for, for their sake, I need, uh, I need to, to win, really, because, you know, you've heard, you heard Rob, uh, Eddie, World Title Eliminator. Like, I'm not saying that I'll be ready for the likes of Josh Taylor and the podcast who's got the, the, I mean, the regular titles vacant. I'm not performing the tear, I'm ready for them. But if, if I get in and the money's right, you're gonna take it, aren't you? And no, there's no better place in Newcastle, and that's another big show for the rest of the North East lads to get on. So, you know, I need to keep winning for the, for the match room and bring them big shows up. And you know, if, if I get beat off Davis, they'll probably not come back and be a good fight until probably say another big show. Yeah. So, you know, there's a bit of pressure on us that way. But 
we've just got to deal with it. Do you feel any more pressure no, carrying the region? It's like, not that you are, oh, but just what you've said not, there. Because, you know what it is? It's like, and some people don't like it, but I've said it a few times now, like, this is no disrespect to any other fighters, but in the North East, you've got me and Tommy that are a million miles ahead of them, as in where we are in Korea, where we are, and where, like, the fights that we're having. Uh, so really, like, it's a little bit better, but both at the same time, we're just laughing with it, but, do you know, like, he's headlining the, big, the MTK show, I'm headlining the matchroom show, we're both won British titles, you know, we're both boxed big events, and none of the other lads who are active in the North East have done that, so, We've got a bit of pressure carrying it that way as well, but you know, all of a sudden we're both getting beaten in the big show Stone Cold behind no more, do they? Like, as in, it's, it, it, I mean, there'll always be a few years time where another me and another Tommy will pop up, and then they, it's the pressure's on their shoulders. But uh, carrying the region a little bit, but fighting wise, the pressure's off now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an opponent, and Robbie, Robbie's ranked higher than me. You know, he, he, he classes himself as the main draw in this fight, and that's ideal for me, you know, with the Terra fight. All the pressure was on me, I was meant to do this, meant to do that, and it sort of got there was a little bit where the Highland fight, I was just a co main event. Josh Kelly was the, the main man, so I was a bit like right and the way it worked out it worked out the opposite really and uh so pressure with that way but not pressure with the fighting anymore. And um this isn't planned, I haven't segued perfectly in that, but one of our followers sent a question, Ross Wilkinson, asking who do you think um is the best northeast prospect? Like outside of you and Tommy, who would you say is the best or the it's, it's, one who's going to, going to make that jump? To be fair, if I was seeing the lads all the time training that, then I could probably answer you. But as you as you know, with this gym, we're completely out the way. <laughs> like there's only me and Tommy. Then there's like no other gym. A few so, farms about. A few farms about. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard. Like you see, see some lads start on the MT on the Jaffa shows, and then you think, oh, they're quite canny. Then they're not on the next one, and all of a sudden they're a PR. So I think it's hard to like. I think Joe Mafosa is good. I do think I like little Joe. He, he's a little boxer. I think he's going to. If Warren gets him the right fights, he'll do well. And um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think who else. I'm obviously seeing my dad's fight a terrible and some of that I'm being biased. You know, I've someone trained, else asked. I've trained him for years. Well, so someone asked about. Um, I can't yeah, remember who it was now. Was asked about how Terence was doing. Joe is uh, He's an animal. Terry man when he was training, like he's fit as you can. Uh, if he keeps his head straight, and keeps training, he'll, he can come on to big things. But I mean, there's. The North East getting packed with talent now. There's no like standout at the moment, as in for the but you know if they keep going and that there's, there's obviously going to be a few and uh, it's good it's good times. But I hear Ram was down yeah in a week when we fought and I'm sure Joe's got a big fight coming off when it comes off. So uh, you'll you'll see what Joe's made of and uh, but at the minute fight wise and I think Force is probably the. Yeah. Off the top of your head that I can think of, unless you can think of a few, and then I'll, I'm putting you on. I'm the impartial, me, me, you know what BBB are like. I'll get people sleeping. Sit firmly on that uh, fence there, like. I'll get people sleeping. <laughs> what about this one? What about that one? But to be fair, like I say, where does Scoot the Wheel mean, mean Tommy? We just concentrate on ourselves, really. Alright, nice one. Uh, next question Spud Woolett asking how you and Tommy feel being the ugliest boxers in the North East. <laughs> well, it's hard when Spud, who's the best looking boy. Well, you know one compared to Spud, do not it? I like Spud, he's a, good, he's a good bloke, Spud. So, yeah, he put a bit buddy on there uh, as when I boxed Barrett and I think he got a good, good little winning. So, I, we were I, raging when the odds started getting uh, in, against you. I like you. Spud, so he's a, he's, a, he's a good man. So, good whip, he's a good whip. He's the best whip. Andrew Wilder, not be happy about that. <laughs> As we title of the interview sorted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're two good lads, so good, good crack. And um, we've got one here, you might be able to guess who it's off. He's asked, what are your thoughts on being pelted with Maltesers at the Stevie Harbour testimonial? <laughs> Tom, I... <laughs> Chris Thompson, no, I. He blasted you know, I was <laughs> thousands of people in the crowd. I kept jumping up, going, who's chucking Maltesers in his leg? I was like, like, I was going to know who was doing it, so. Hi. <laughs> Fancy Tom, I dropped his in like that, the bastard, but uh, no, I've had some good times with Tom, but... Oh, he says he's got a few other questions, but he's not going to ask no, them, because uh, <laughs> ruin your image. Yes, he'll ruin it, so as long as he keeps it with his son, that's, that's all right. Now we're nearly at 10 minutes there, Lewis, so I'll wrap that up. Well, thank you very much again, mate. Much appreciated. No, Finally got down. to in the gym. Yes, After I months of any time, any time. Look at my funnel punch, not the stables and all that. Great man, class. The fresh little air, little country boy, aren't you? Oh, I love it, mate. <laughs> <laughs>